What is most incredible about this sculpture is that he has a sense of living presence. This is something that you can sense whether you know anything about Japanese Buddhist sculpture or Prince Shotoku or nothing at all. Shotoku Taishi is believed to be the founder of Buddhism in Japan and he probably died around the year 622. This sculpture shows the moment at age two when Prince Shotoku performed a miracle. He stood up, placed his hands together, faced east and praised the Buddha with the words Namu Butsu. At that moment, he was found to have manifested a relic, the left eyeball of the Buddha between his hands. Buddhism travels from India through China to Japan. And this sculpture was created around the year 1292, which is the Kamakura period. And at that point, people in Japan are feeling very concerned about the distance in time and space from the Buddha's life in India. There was a sense of intense spiritual crisis. Shotoku provided a bridge between Kamakura period in Japan and the Holy Land, India. So the sculpture was purchased by Ellery Sedgwick, the owner-editor of the Atlantic Monthly, in 1936. And the first place that it rested was the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. And a visiting Japanese conservator opened the bottom of the sculpture and all of the objects that were inside pulled out through the bottom. Ellery Sedgwick brings Shotoku home, where he is installed in a Japanese shrine in one of the family rooms. The room we're in now is, is called the, um, the piano room. Um, and this is where Shotoku was. And when we came in the house, we'd meet my grandparents and then rush in to see Shotoku. It was the, I guess, the object I was most close to. Normally I'm standing up or looking at him at a distance, and he's, and he's different this close and, and sitting below him. As a figure who brought Buddhism to Japan, he's always been a sort of ambassador, but he's moved to the West. <laughs>